Hey guys, on this episode of Cook This with Shireen, it's cashew chicken stir fry. And today I'm gonna to use a seasonal Jersey vegetable, summer squash. So today it's all about Asian. I love Asian. It's super quick, super easy, but it's really important to do your mise en place ahead. So that just means everything in its own place. So I have a cornstarch slurry, so it's just a little bit of cornstarch and water. That's to thicken our sauce at the end. And then I have some soy sauce, vinegar, and apricot. So that's sweet, salty, tangy. It's perfect. So the cornstarch is gonna thicken the sauce. That's done. Now I need to prep all my vegetables. I have our summer squash, a little nod to New Jersey, and our seasonal vegetable. And then I have some red pepper, red onion, and then I'm gonna flavor everything with the aromatics of ginger, serrano pepper, or you could use a jalapeno pepper, and garlic, and of course, our chicken. So I'm gonna get all this chopped up, and then it happens quick. Bing, bang, boom. Quick cooking. I have ginger, I have a jalapeno. Well, actually, I grabbed a serrano. The jalapenos were monsters in the grocery store. So you could use a serrano pepper, and I have garlic. So this is basically what's gonna flavor and infuse the chicken, the vegetables, and the sauce. So I'm just gonna get this minced up and then we're ready to cook. Ginger, serrano, and garlic. I like to divide it in three. That way, when I saute the chicken, I add a little bit, then I saute the vegetables, I'll add a little bit, and then for the sauce. So everything is equally seasoned. I already cubed my chicken. So this is boneless, skinless chicken breast, about a pound and a half. Just cut it into half inch cubes. Now, I heated the wok. You could use a 12 inch skillet fry pan, or if you got a wok, very authentic. So you want it super hot. So I've heated this for about a minute. And then we're gonna work in stages. So first, and you don't wanna overcrowd your pan or your, your wok. We're gonna saute this just about two minutes, pull it out into this bowl. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of the ginger serrano and garlic, so that way it's gonna flavor this part of the stir fry. All right, so now we are stir frying in stages. So I'm gonna remove the chicken, add it to the side, and then pop in the vegetables. That way we don't steam everything, and everything gets stir fried. I'm gonna add the vegetables, another batch of the serrano garlic and ginger for more oil too. So you wanna make sure you get those aromatics out of there too so they don't burn. Salt. So about two minutes, tender crisp, that's what you want. We want to keep these vegetables vibrant, colorful, and a little crunch. Vegetables are out, a little bit more oil because now it's time to add the sauce. So I have the remainder of the garlic, serrano, and ginger. I'm just gonna re-whisk the soy, rice vinegar, and apricot jam. And now it's just gonna deglaze. So all those brown bits, which the French call the fond, all those brown bits are just gonna loosen and make the sauce so flavorful. One, two minutes, done. I'm gonna thicken it with the cornstarch slurry, add it right to the sauce as soon as it comes to a boil, then it comes to its full thickening power. It almost, almost jellies up, and you'll see that. Now I'm gonna return everything, and it'll loosen again. It'll be perfect. Look at that, that is sexy. All right, so this is family style. This is delicious. It's Asian, forget the Chinese takeout. You can do this. Super easy, see how easy that was? We just prepped everything ahead. Quick cooking, bing, bang, boom, done. Now I'm just gonna finish it with some fresh cilantro and of course the cashews, which gives it a nice crunch. Look at that, come on. Cilantro. So I don't like to really chop my cilantro a lot. It really just bruises the leaves. You can just do a rough chop or just keep the leaves. You either love it or you hate it. I really love cilantro. Ah, some cashews. Hello, that looks great. 
So for this recipe, check out my website at tweetmeats.com or check out the newspaper's website. Enjoy.